Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is not on celiac, but it is a celiac talking about shoes. <laughs> so today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Rothy's. <clears throat> Rothy's are sustainable shoes made out of plastic, which is super cool. And so I wanted to share some details on Rothy's shoes, some different styles. I have a lot of them, but not all of them. And sizing questions on Rothy's. So please make sure to like this video if you like the content and subscribe so you can see more content like this or others coming your way. And I'll also post in the description a link to get $20 off your first pair of Rothy's if after watching this video, you decide you want to try some. It'll be a little referral link. So let's talk about Rothy's. <clears throat> Rothy's will come to you, like I said, they are a sustainable shoe that is made out of recycled bottles, which is super, super cool. They come to you in these cute, little boxes and they usually fit right inside your mailbox which is you'll see your shoes inside so the first thing i'll address is shipping with rothy's um as we all know shipping was delayed over the holidays this year because it was just crazy crazy times so rothy's shipping is is what it is sometimes you get your rothy's really fast like in a couple days and sometimes it takes a long time and they tour different states. I'm not really sure why. So um, yeah, you could get them quick or you might have to wait for them. So you're going to have to be patient about your, about your Rothy's. But that's pretty much with any mail, right? So let's talk about the different styles because Rothy's are really cool. There's a huge following of people who love Rothy's. They also resell really, really well. So a lot of times they retain their value or you're able to sell them for close to what you purchase them for. <clears throat> Uh, you, there are things called unicorns and unicorns are really, really tough shoes. They may be like an ex store exclusive or something somebody is just dying to have that they're sold out of. And those can go for twice their value or three times their value. It's crazy. Um, so take good care of your Rothy's. Rothy's are awesome because they're machine washable, which is fabulous. You can wash them on cold water. And there's advice I've gotten about how to dry your Rothy's. Some people put in these like shoe, um, I don't even know what you want to call them, but like shoe stretchers or whatever. What, so they dry and don't you know, shrink while they're drying. Never put them in the dryer though. That is like a consensus among everybody. But you can put those in to keep them stretched out. You can put in the little sticks that they used to come in and just like, you know, keep their shape. You can um, just set them out to dry. So those are all opinions I've gotten from Rothy's lovers on how to dry your shoes. So it is great because they're all machine washable. A couple of different styles. You're probably gonna wanna be able to talk the lingo. <clears throat> Loafer. Flat. Flat shoes have the rounded toe. Sneaker. I like to call them sneaks. Sneaker. points. The two styles I don't have with me are Mary Jane's um, and I guess really square toe. These are Merino's. Merino is the Merino wool it's made with. has a little different sole compared to the others. This one does have a little bit of a square toe um, but they have more designs that are square toe. So those are the different designs for shapes. So now you know the shapes. Let's talk a little bit about sizing. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. So all the information that was provided to me by Rothy lovers about sizing. Okay, so we're gonna start with the uh, flats. And the first bit of lingo that you want to know is called street size. So street size is what you typically wear in every other shoe. I wear a five five and a half street size in most other shoes you know, except for tennis shoes and maybe some boots that I'm going to stick thicker socks with. Okay. Besides that, I'm a street size five, five and a half. Flats. What size should I get in flats? Great question. Here's what I've been told. You can get your street size in flats. You can get a half size up in flats for more comfort. You can get a whole size up in flats for more comfort. If your flat feels too tight, you can take out the end sole and try it without it in there. And if it feels much better, that means you need to go up a half size. If you try it on without the insole and it feels too loose, 
you could put in a thin Dr. Scholl's insole you can get off Amazon inside the shoe for a little bit extra insole, but not enough to go up half size. And if you love the shoe and they don't make it anymore in your size and it's retired or something crazy and you need it to be thicker, you could buy a thicker insole or double up insoles and then try it that way. Is that clear? Yeah, I thought so. That's how I felt too. I'm lucky enough, I wear street size in flats. But as you can see, this street size was a little tight, so I used the Dr. Schultz. This street size was perfect, and I used the Ralphie's insoles. I've heard you can buy the same shoe. Like if I wanted to buy this blush in three, five and a halfs, they may all fit different. Right. Mm -hmm. Merinos, Merinos tend to be a little stretchier looser material. So I've been told you can go down a half size in merinos or you can wear a street size in merinos or you could wear a half size up in merinos. Is that clear? Lastly, I'll talk to you about points. These are the most controversial sizing shoes on the planet. I have been told when asked Hmm, what size should I wear in points? Because they're super cute. And by the way, these are the first points that have ever looked really good on my feet. And this little V here is called a vamp. Vamp. And I have long toes for some reason. I'm not going to show you. But I get toe cleavage. Yep, that's a thing. Toe cleavage. Some people don't care about the toe cleavage. I hate toe cleavage. This is my first shoe that did not give me toe cleavage. Hence why I have them here. I've returned all the others. Or sold them. So... Nari, what size do I wear in points? Well, let me tell you the advice I've been given. Typically in points, you need to size up at least a half size from your street size. Hey, if you're getting points, make sure you size up a full size in points because there's not as much room in the toe box. Hey, you know what? I love points, but I size up a one and a half in points for the most comfort. You know what? I love points. I size up two full sizes from my street size to get comfortable in my points. Are you clear? Apparently, you can wear, and there's some people that wear their street size in points. You can wear from street size up to two full sizes in points. My advice to you on Rothy's shoe sizing, put them on, see how they feel. They're soft, they feel good. Sometimes the back heel can be higher in different colors. See if it fits comfortably. They're not flopping off your feet. You're not seeing lots of toe, like pushing the sides out. They're not gonna stretch, they're not gonna get bigger. Um, if anything, they're gonna settle. People will tell you to take these out, the cardboard, and let them sit for a week or two just so they settle and see if, how they fit then. So, um, the moral of this story is everybody has an opinion on sizing for Rothy's. As long as they feel amazing on your feet and you love the way they look, then it works. Um, if you think they're tight and they don't feel good, take out the insole and you'll know that's a half size bigger. If your toes are sticking out, they're uncomfortable. Nobody needs to wear uncomfortable shoes, right? But um, you shouldn't have toes, you know, pushing out edges and sticking out and that kind of fun stuff. So. Anyways, I hope today's video helped make it crystal clear that these shoes are amazing, they're washable, they're sustainable, they're made out of um, bottles, which is recycled bottles, which is so super cool. But when it comes to sizing, I hope I made that super awesomely clear. Have a great day.